In this video, we're gonna take a look at Lux, a new plugin from Clev Grand, which is an audio enhancer. It's a compressor and a saturation plugin, which apparently gives your tracks that extra little bit of something special that's going to make them sit nicely in the mix. How's it gonna do? Let's you and I find out. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today. Now we're back here in GarageBand taking a look at Lux, this new plugin from Clev Grand. Now Clev Grand are the masters of the simple plugin and this one is no exception. It's a saturation and compression plugin, but like a lot of their plugins, it's very simple in its operation. It's literally one dial here. We can dial anywhere from zero up to a hundred. And what Clev Grand are telling us this does is it just gives your track that little bit of something extra, just that little bit of an edge that's gonna make it really pop and sit nicely in your mix. So we're going to put it to the test in a song here in GarageBand. There's two versions, there's Finesse and Lux, and there's literally just those two options and then our dial. So it'll be very simple to demo this. We're going to take a look now. Now the plugin itself at the moment is on sale. If you're here in January 2020, it is $4.99 US to purchase. And the good folks at Clev Grand actually gave me this copy for free so that I could test it out for you here today. So here we are in GarageBand. Here is my track. Let's throw this on a few different types of tracks and see how it goes. So we already have the Lux plug-in here on our GarageBand drum track here. At the moment, the drummer track sounds like this. So not bad, I've added a little bit of compression here. We've got some EQ and some other effects on there. What I'm firstly gonna do though is hit edit and I'm gonna bring Lux down to the bottom here because it's a bit of a compressor and a saturation plugin. I'll put it just before the EQ there, oh, after, just before, and hit done on that one. Now we can actually turn it on and jump in and take a look. So the only controls that we need to worry about here is on and off here in the top left. So red is off, green is on, and then whether we're using finesse or Lux. So we're gonna start with Lux. I will dial this up and we'll hear it start to take effect on this drum track. So you can see and hear that it's very simple, simple little animation that shows there when it's actually doing some things. And because it's only one dial, you don't have to worry about what it's doing. Clev Grand are managing all of that behind the scenes. You just have to decide how much of this effect you actually want to add. Now you're not going to really hear the effect with it soloed. So let's hit done on that one. Let's bring it back into the mix by unsoloing there, going back into our plugin here. We'll again bring it back down and we'll hit play and I'll bring this up and you'll be able to hear the difference it's going to make to the drums and how they sit in the mix. <music> Sometimes I sit around and wonder how it is I got here and if I'm going under all the complications of my life, all the times when I couldn't reach a knife in my back to... So there you can hear that it's actually just giving it a little bit more punch, a little bit more sizzle. You can think of your own cool word to say that means something. Uh, let's just turn it completely off. We'll go off and on just so that you can really hear the difference. So let's hit play now. To the days when I was a little kid, always worried about the things I never did. Always thinking about the next big problem, even when it's someone else that's on the hook me in, line and sinker, ever wonder... And obviously I've got it right up there at 100, so you might not dial it in that much, but you can see here that it just adds a little bit of something. Like if, you, if you're playing around and you're trying to find a plugin that's going to do something and you just want something simple to try, this may be something to put in your toolkit. Let's try the finesse version now, shall we? So once again, we'll leave it as it is. We'll hit play and we'll dial this one up. Wonder what it's like to be an overthinker, tinker with all my little thoughts. Maybe it was just the way that I was taught to just believe that I was right. So I actually like that. Now what Clev Grand say is that that's just a, they've used different frequency responses and other technical things that I don't completely understand, but it's just a slightly different algorithm that they're using there is gonna give you a different sound. So, so far so good. On the drums, I think this is packing a pretty good punch. Let's move on and take a look at it on some other instruments. Okay, we've moved on to the bass track. At the moment, the bass sounds like this. So already kind of cutting through and doing okay. If we bring it back in our mix. But let's now add in. Now, if you want to remember, you've probably done this before or seen a previous video. If not, there'll be some down in the description that show you in more detail. But we just need to come in here to our mixer icon, into plugins and EQ, tap on the edit button, tap on the plus button, come over to audio unit extensions and come down and select our 
Lux plugin. There it is. It's on there. We can now tap on it and we can dial in the settings as we want. So it's on already. Let's hit play and I'll bring this bass up and we'll just take a listen. Let's go back to the start of our track and we'll hit play. <music> So it's just giving it a different kind of definition, a little bit of a different tone. Let's try it with the finesse. Sometimes I sit around and wonder how it is I got here and if I'm going under all the... So yeah, you can hear that with that one turned up, it's, it's really giving that sort of twangy kind of sound almost on the top end. So may not work for this track, but yeah, the beauty of part of this is you can just throw it on any track, see what it does, and instead of spending hours with five different plugins layering them up, maybe just throwing this one on is going to do something that is going to actually help your track. We'll leave it off of that track for now, so we can just hit the blue button to turn it off. Let's just try this on uh, another another track, one more track, and then what I'll do is I'll mix these down to a stereo track and we'll try it on our final mix bus to see what it can do to your final mix or your master. So we've grabbed our organ track here now. If we play it, it sounds like this at the moment. So not bad, but kind of standard. I haven't done a lot of processing on this one. So once again, we'll edit, we'll tap plus, we'll go audio unit extensions. We'll scroll on down and we'll grab Lux. And now if we come into our Lux settings here, let's hit play again. Definitely got a lot more punch. If we bring this back into our mix here now. Let's turn it off. We'll come back to the start. We'll have it off and we'll do our off on test again. I actually really like this. I thought I'd almost finished mixing this song, but I think I'm going to have to go back and add Lux to a bunch of tracks because it's really enhancing them and bringing them out and making them pop. All right, final test now. Let's merge this track down into a stereo file and then add Lux to that and see how we go. So what we're going to do is tap on one of these tracks. We're going to hit merge. I've showed this in a previous video and I will link to that one up the top there and down in the description. But what we're basically going to do is grab every different track that we have here. All of these tracks in my mix. This is one by one. We've got a lot of tracks. I should have chosen a shorter song, but that's okay. This will be a nice reminder, refresher. We've got all the tracks there, including the FX track. And then what we're going to do is hit the merge button in the top right corner. This is going to mix this down. It's going to duplicate our project. It's going to mix it down into one stereo track, which we can then add Lux to and see what this does to our whole mix. All right, our track is merged. It is normalized. And now if we just come in randomly to a part in the middle and hit play. Back to the days when I was a little kid. Always worry about the things I never did. Always think about the next big problem, even when it's someone else that's on the hook me in. Yeah, cool. So uh, we probably need to play around with some volumes and things because you can see there that it's a bit quieter there and then it's louder at the end. So this actually may help with some of that with a bit of compression and a bit of saturation here. So we're gonna come in here to this main track, plugins and EQ, edit, come down here and we will add in an audio effect plugin. We're going to once again, select, oh, missed it, Lux. There it is. I have too many plugins, most of them from Clev Grant. Um, so we've got the Lux plugin here now. So what I'll do, let's go back towards the start of the track and we'll jump in here. And once again, we'll just dial this up firstly on the Lux setting and then on the finesse setting and see what these do. Let's go. So you can hear there that when we go up to 100%, it maybe gets a bit intense, but when you're just adding a little bit in there, it kind of just glues everything together kind of nicely. I don't mind that at all. Let's uh, flick over here to the finesse setting and try the same thing. This time we'll come in here where the vocals are at, shall we? And we'll dial this one up. Sometimes I sit around and wonder how it is I got here and if I'm going under All the complications of my life All the times when I couldn't reach a knife in my back to the days when I was a little kid Always worry about the things I never did Always think about the next big problem it Yeah, so once again, when I go up a little bit too far 
Yeah, maybe not, but with just 20 to 30 on the meter there in the finesse setting, I think this could actually be a pretty cool mastering plugin or one to use on your master bus as well as your individual instruments. So there you go, Lux from Clevgran. Definitely one worth looking at, as I mentioned. It's on sale at the moment, $4.99 US. Regular price is $7.99 if the sale has ended, which I still think is worth checking out. There are two more videos about some other plugins linked down below as well. You can subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon and I'll see you next time.